നമസ്കാരം സ്കൈ ഹൈ എജു പ്രസന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന യുവർ ഹീറോ ഇസ് ഹിയ എന്ന ഇൻസ്പിരേഷൻ സീരീസിന്റെ പുതിയ എപ്പിസോഡിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ മുന്നിൽ ഹീറോയായി നിൽക്കുന്നത് സിന്തറ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പിന്റെ ഡയറക്ടർ ആയിട്ടുള്ള മിസ്റ്റർ അജു ജേക്കബ് ആണ് സർ വെൽക്കം ടു അവർ ഷു താങ്ക് യു ആദ്യം തന്നെ ഒരുപാട് സന്തോഷം ഒരുപാട് ഇന്റർവ്യൂസ് ഒന്നും കൊടുക്കുന്ന ആളല്ല എന്ന് കേട്ടു പക്ഷെ നമ്മുടെ ക്ഷണം സ്വീകരിച്ച് ഇവിടെ എത്തിയതിൽ ഒരുപാട് സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് ആദ്യം തന്നെ ചോദിക്കട്ടെ എല്ലാവർക്കും കാണുമ്പോൾ സാറിൻ്റെ അടുത്ത് ചോദിക്കണമെന്ന് ആഗ്രഹമുള്ള ഒരു ചോദ്യമാണ് എല്ലാവർക്കും വേണ്ടി ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കുകയാണ് സിന്തറ്റ് പോലെയുള്ള ഒരു ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ലോകം അറിയപ്പെടുന്ന രീതിയിലേക്ക് വളരുമ്പോൾ ആ വളർച്ചയുടെ ഒരു സക്സസ് തിയറി അല്ലെ ഉണ്ടാവണം തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അപ്പോ എന്താണ് സർ നമ്മുടെ ഒരു സക്സസ് തിയറി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് people from outside might say it's the vision that the founders had or the people who are running the organization had satyadala uh, alla it is the agility that we have and the and the F, the perseverance and the parayumbo if i can qualify that i'll explain to you anengile appo njangalde product development le ettum kudal opportunities varunna njangalde customers nadunnana they because in the past because of these two aspects of being agile and being Uh, have the mindset to persevere on it they come up with opportunities avaru oru pudhiya product development and pudhiya application like a product venam adu develop cheyan etto efficient aayittu cheyan pattunna organizations ee line of business lo ulla etto efficient aayittu cheyina organization aanu sandhayittu appo they come with the idea they share their thought with us we go fully after it you know other there are an empty number of opportunities that have been created like that appo it is more of a pull opportunity that we create value from than for valare for thought or body develop the product or moon all the other perseverance la undaki adu kaynu adu or market la launch cheyid adu villa success avunnene ka kududalayitt ee or two aspects that is being agile and being perseverance is what has taken sindhai where it is today സക്സസിനെ കുറിച്ച് സംസാരിക്കുമ്പോൾ തീർച്ചയായും നമ്മൾ ഫെയിലിയേഴ്സിനെ കുറിച്ച് സംസാരിക്കണം അല്ലെ ബിക്കോസ് അതൊരു കോയിന്റെ രണ്ട് വശങ്ങളാണ് സക്സസ് ഉണ്ടാവുമ്പോൾ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും എല്ലാവരും നമ്മളോടൊപ്പം ഉണ്ടാവും എല്ലാവരും നമ്മളെ പ്രൈസ് ചെയ്യും അല്ലെ സക്സസ് ഫോമുലാസ് ചോദിക്കും പക്ഷെ ഫെയിലിയർ ആവുന്ന സമയത്ത് അതിനെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് സർ ഹാൻഡിൽ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് ബിക്കോസ് ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ ഞാൻ ഉൾപ്പെടെയുള്ള യങ് ജനറേഷൻ ഏറ്റവും ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യം തോറ്റു കൊടുക്കാനും തോക്കുന്നിടത്ത് നിന്ന് എഴുന്നേക്കാനുമാണ് അല്ലെ ഇത്രയും വളർച്ചയുടെ ഭാഗമായിട്ടുള്ള സാറിന്റെ വായിൽ നിന്ന് എങ്ങനെയാണ് സാറ് ഫെയിലിയേഴ്സിനെ ടാക്കിൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫെയിലിയേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ടായപ്പോ വീണ്ടും എഴുന്നേക്കാൻ എന്താണ് പ്രചോദനമായിട്ടുള്ളത് ഇൻസിഡൻസ് വെച്ച് ഞാൻ പറയുവാണെങ്കിൽ ഇപ്പോ ഞങ്ങൾ രണ്ടായിരത്തി ആറോ ഏഴിലോ ആണ് ഒരു ഗ്രീൻ ടീ ബേസ്ഡ് പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് അന്നൊരു കസ്റ്റമർ വളരെ ഇതുപോലെ ഒരു പുഷ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ആയിട്ട് നമ്മുടെ അടുത്ത് വന്നു അത് ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് ദേ ഓൾസോ ഗീവ് എ സം ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് വി വർക്ക് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ് വി മേഡ് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് പക്ഷെ അന്നത്തെ മാർക്കറ്റ് കണ്ടീഷൻസ് വെച്ച് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കസ്റ്റമർക്ക് അത് ലോഞ്ച് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയില്ല അപ്പോൾ ടെക്നിക്കലി ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ ഫെയിലിയർ ഫോർ സിന്ധായ് ബിക്കോസ് വി ആർ പുട്ട് ടു തേർഡ്സ് ഇത് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് സംതിങ് ന്യൂ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടൈം ആൻഡ് ദെൻ വി 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 വർ അറ്റ് ലോസ് ടു വോട്ട് ടു ഡു പക്ഷെ വി കെപ്റ്റ് ഓൺ വർക്കിംഗ് ഓൺ ഫർദർ ഇമ്പ്രൂവിംഗ് ദ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് റെഡ്യൂസിംഗ് ദ കോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് and it so happened that other natural ru tea drink i to convert in an opportunity now our brand il und sprig nu parna brand il ru tea product und which again we failed to take it to its optimal level natile engilum there are few countries where it's becoming very successful appo so, we we didn't i mean our initial failure und ayad kondu adu madich nikkada allengi because of the particular opportunity did not trigger the business that we expected we continued working on the product and today അത്രയും വെൽ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇന്ന് മാർക്കറ്റിൽ ഇല്ല ദാറ്റ്സ് വൺ തിങ് ദർ ആർ മെനി സച്ച് ഇൻസിഡൻസസ് വെയർ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ചിലപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ ഇന്റർണലി പറയും ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ടേക്ക് എ ലോഡ് ഓഫ് റിസ്ക് ഐ ലുക്ക് എ ലോഡ് ഓഫ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റീസ് മേ ബി ഇഫ് ഐ ടേക്ക് ടെൻ മേ ബി ടു ത്രീ ക്ലിക്ക് സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻ്റ്ലി ബട്ട് അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സെവൻ മേ ബി ടു ത്രീ ആർ ഗോയിങ് അലോങ് ബട്ട് ദർ ആർ സം വിച്ച് വിൽ ടേക്ക് ടൈം ടു ഈവൻ ബി ഇൻ ദ മാർക്കറ്റ് പക്ഷെ അത് but ah adu rando moonu failures ne mathram base idond nammal if you start internalizing then you can you will not have the appetite or the interest to do something new so some of the things definitely fail you will lose money also say for example our china effort in 10 years it took 10 years for us to establish there 
But today, it's a 275, 300 crore business, which is growing. We see more potential to grow it. Initial three, four years, there are many businesses from India that have gone to China, folded up in, in three, four years' time because they felt for various reasons successful. We held on. Of course, we had the backing to support it, or one or two major products. We had to continue working on those products. But eventually, it's become successful because, again, from the mistakes that we made, we changed the management there, we changed the product category there, we introduced more products there, looked at how we can sell in China. So all these ingredients put together, China is slowly becoming a success story, which is now 10 years down the, uh, down the lane. Um, our perseverance, that is, that's what makes a huge difference. You could have given up long ago. Okay. Other, that is very important criteria, but I have to caveat on that Sindai because it's the base good business is going well, we can afford to make some mistakes. Definitely there will be other products that are successful which help you back such opportunities you know, where yes. not failure, maybe not did not succeed in the time frame that you looked at or the initial you know business plan that we made. We may have gone, we may not have achieved it, but eventually it has happened. So, if I were to name whether I have fallen completely, uh, successful, I think it was just before the 2099 accident, there was an IT business opportunity. In the business, in 2012, we took a decision, food and food ingredients related business like confined. This was long before that. On the book transcription of books into digital language, I no opportunity. So we set up a small facility, about 25 people. I had somebody who had some IT background to run it, didn't pay much attention. It didn't go anywhere. It failed completely and we had to wind it up and we forgot about this business opportunity. Another ashe one day or another was that why should the IT get concentrated in bigger cities with technology for digital communication slowly building? Why can't IT businesses be in smaller towns? Our ashe was the problem. But today everybody is talking about okay. it. But we didn't sustain it. We, I mean, because it was not our core business, another sustained thing probably we would have done well. But we didn't have the, the mindset to sustain that opportunity, so we lost out. That's one complete failure that I can talk about. There's one joint venture business that we're currently pursuing, Adilum. Uh, by the time we implemented the, pro the production facility, um, Chinese had already come and they had been in the market, lowered prices. So it became difficult for us. We are struggling with it now, three, four years now. Uh, I don't, I mean, there are some opportunities, uh, we, are, we see the light at the end of the tunnel, we have some opportunities our way, but um, little dismal. So probably something that, you know, I'll have to admit failure and say that it didn't work. So it happens and I think we should accept it with, uh, again, in all of this, the caveat is that fact that we have the backing to, to absorb some failures like that. And for somebody who is only business or someone who is starting up something new, and he's put invested all his time and money in one project and then he faces a challenge like that. I would say I'm fortunate that I'm, I've not mm -hmm. had an experience so maybe I'm, it's difficult for me to share it. Uh, one more thing I can talk about, I think I've shared that in a recent interview also that in early in my career, we had the opportunity mm -hmm. to look at a new facility that we had to buy, Calicut based at the business. Um, we didn't look at the entire health, of, we did work for us initially, but a few months later we realized that a lot of the equipment and the facilities are not up to a food standard and we, we were failing audits in that plant, so we had to uh, strip all the facility there and put in new. new. And before that, I was trying my, my best to salvage that facility by doing some patchwork and things like that. But I, I recall my dad, you know, mentioning this to me that, you know, yeah. Like, I'm, at the same time, he was very supportive. He said, you know, he, he supported my decision of buying the plant and he supported me through that challenge also. And that was a huge backing for me because that gave me the, the if, I, if my dad had approached that in a different way, 
I probably would have never ventured into risk. My risk appetite would have gone down significantly had he not, you know, supported me at that time. So today, when our younger generation, the next generation, is in the business, we also, to a large extent, take this approach, not being too hard on them uh, in their efforts if they are not successful the first time, even within the organization also. Maybe at, at a later point in some, uh, you know, discussions, I'll explain what I'm trying to do with. The current, yeah. the professionals, and the family members who are in the business, what we are trying to do, I'll explain that in a later. Sir, if I am sorry, sir, but why are you? Sir, now when there is low sale, nineties sale, like IT guy, he is busy, but he didn't pay that much, uh, that much attention in all that. But skill, attention, all that. But from Aju Jacob, in the parayi na, or a two or a half, matram, in the year, since that, since that, I will not. Right, or a nice skilled. ആയിട്ടുള്ള നല്ല ഒരു ടീം അതിന് വേണം അല്ലെ ഡെഡിക്കേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള അപ്പൊ ഒരുപാട് സ്കിൽ ഇഷ്യൂസും സാറ് ലൈക് ഒരു ടീമിന്റെ നേതൃത്വം നൽകുമ്പോൾ ഫേസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് വന്നിട്ടുണ്ടാവും അപ്പൊ ആ ഒരു എങ്ങനെയാണ് സ്കിൽസിനെ ഒക്കെ ടാക്കിൾ ചെയ്ത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്കിൽ ഇഷ്യൂസിനെ ടാക്കിൾ ചെയ്ത് നല്ലൊരു ടീമിനെ ബിൽഡ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് സാർ എങ്ങനെയാണ് ശ്രമിക്കുന്നത് as an entrepreneur or someone who is trying to take the business forward in 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 a wholesome way you will have to have you have to multitask you have to have certain uh, you know competence with technical finance marketing all this and you 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 will have to be all in all in some way but at the same time you can have specific professionals for technical competence marketing or other skills you can definitely choose people to do that and never expect clones of yourself you know yes. if you have people who are going to be multi all your pe- people are going to be multitasking then you'll end up having um, a jack of all uh, you know uh, yeah. kind of people uh, yeah. but not nobody specifically talented <coughs> in a specific area so i try and work with people who have different skills how can we put them together to make certain things work is the way i look at making things work and off late what i'm trying to do is last maybe 10 15 years is anyone who started out as a executive assistant with me he gets a tremendous exposure because i'm dealing with various things he's sitting in meetings with me for 3 to 2 to 3 years in their career we i would ideally want them to run businesses because they will like get exposed to various aspects of the business and i've successfully done that till jerry now jerry is my re- most recent uh, ea and again i have given him a, already given him an idea a thought of something new that we're working on while he is continuing as my ea he is focusing on that particular project and maybe in couple of years he should be able to lead that initiative the past maybe four of my eas are running businesses within synthai so which um, i feel as uh, i which i take pride of because i've been able to develop or change lives for those four people ipo paranjathu vechathu pole thanne oru paada startups ne പ്രോത്സാഹിപ്പിക്കുന്ന വ്യക്തിയാണ് അല്ലെ പക്ഷേ എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു നമ്മുടെ കേരളത്തിലെ സ്റ്റാർട്ടപ്സിൽ നല്ലൊരു ശതമാനവും ഫെയിലിയർ ആണ് റൈറ്റ് നമ്മൾ പറയുമ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെ തന്നെ അതിനെ കാണാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ഒന്നല്ലെങ്കിൽ സാറ് പറയുന്നത് പോലെ ഒരു വിഷൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു മിഷൻ ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടായിട്ടും അതിനെ കറക്റ്റായിട്ട് അതെങ്ങനെ എത്തിക്കണമെന്നറിയില്ല ആരുടെ അടുക്കൽ പോകണമെന്നറിയില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഏത് ഓഡിയൻസിലേക്ക് എത്തിക്കണമെന്നറിയില്ല അങ്ങനെ ഭയങ്കര കൺഫ്യൂഷൻസ് ഉള്ള ഒരു നല്ല ക്രൗഡ് നമ്മുടെ മുന്നിലുണ്ട് സ്പെഷ്യലി യൂത്ത് So, sir, in the world, or 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 in the world. The idea that they're working on should be very, very convincing. How, uh, before they start spending a lot of money on it, to they, how much can they discuss or, you know, get uh, peer or senior support to understand whether that idea is something that is worth exploring and all of the making sure that is very important yeah. just because somebody else has done and been successful with it you expect to be successful it's not going to work unless you have a differentiation it's very difficult many times when the youngsters or anybody starting a new business come one of the things i ask is what is the differentiation you're going to bring i mean either to the way you're processing it or the 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 customers that you're going to face consumers of your products how is it that you're going to make a difference alike pinna there is an opportunity where many players can exist like there are so many businesses where number of competing big companies are involved or even small companies are involved the space should be big enough for otherwise your product should have a differentiation so you may be in love with your idea okay. but unless that idea is 
proof to an extent don't invest too much of money into it okay is what i would uh, ideally say uh, ipo kolanjeril irunnaana nammal adine kuriche samsaarikkunnathu kolanjeril sarinde synthet ulpade oru paada logam ariyappedunna companygale valarnu vannittunde pakshe ennal koodiyum ivudthe youth ningale pole മറ്റൊരു അജൂജിക്ക് പാകാനോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മറ്റൊരു കമ്പനി ഓണർ ആവാനോ മുന്നോട്ട് വരാറ് വരാറില്ല ഇപ്പോഴും നമ്മുടെ ചിന്തകൾ കിടക്കുന്നത് ഭയങ്കര കൺസേർവേറ്റീവ് ആയിട്ട് തന്നെയാണ് അപ്പൊ കോളഞ്ചേരിയിലെ വികസന സാധ്യതകൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ യൂത്തിന്റെ സാധ്യതകൾ സാർ എങ്ങനെയാണ് നോക്കി കാണുന്നത് fortunately um, for us fortunately moved off from contract and went into business but others who are as uh, people who in this period of abade pillarl oru i can i can definitely identify with at least 5 6 of them who have turned those businesses into something which is more you know equipment oriented item nalla reethile contract cheyanum nalla contracts are working no three around probably they are not out in the open but if you look through this Uh, you know there are i can easily identify you know, 8 to 10 people businesses people who have done extremely well leading from what their par- their you know parents have done uh, and which they uh, probably they're doing better than what their parents did fathers did so other our they are they don't get similar platforms to express themselves so they are not known is one thing second thing is there are i nangade olivarasin business in basis and tight and plan they put in them pole than there are two three businesses that started not in this region they've gone to palgad or elsewhere and and have started businesses but i don't i don't really encourage that if you look uh, the thing is they again because just because they saw that santhiran plan lip is successful in this space they have made money from other businesses and they had the way with to invest so without really understanding the opportunity they have gone and invested some of them as i understand is struggling so being a me too may not really work all the time yeah just by having money it may not work so adunda njan nerthe paranju pole without understanding ipo synthetic successful ayirund oru pudhiya sambarambagan especially in our kind of business where the the barrier to entry is very small but because ipo there are so many equipment providers this there are a lot of people available with the skill to do an extraction but the opportunity to connect with customers being there having all the certifications is a huge challenge it is something which there the difficulty to enter in this becomes more difficult which they don't understand initially because when they when they seeing from the outside they think it's all easy to easy do to because do, this, yeah. yeah that uh, is the reason why couple of people who went into this business similar businesses not necessarily in this region but out maybe within kerala or outside have not been very successful what i would say is kerala as an as a like if you are looking at starting businesses within kerala you got to ideally look at something where real value addition is there because or a base product manufacturing konde successful avan aayittla saadhyathallu valare koravana because of the labor cost and other aspects because there's nothing that is too conducive for a regular business to operate very successfully here so you have really you will have to look at the the most higher value addition whether it be in spices where it be in food where it's in marine products which these are the areas where the raw material availability is there in this, in this place karanam even raw material availability in though we talk about agriculture being our you know major business in kerala we still are not the most competitive yeah so adu kondu thane unless we understand the entire landscape in terms of the availability of raw material the process capability what value addition how can you differentiate um don't jump into something without understanding these aspects is what i would say and uh, it is done well i mean not necessarily kolanjeri but then if you look at kakanada and these places yeah. a lot of it businesses have done well and in that there are also um, quality entrepreneurs uh, from this region who have done well is uh, so i don't think you should discount completely the other thing is medical mission is a great opportunity i mean if you look at um, how the the medical service as as grown in this area because yes, of medical yes. mission and associated businesses around it is also growing so there there is opportunities around uh, you know even agape as it is yeah. it's expanding its space i'm sure there could be ancillary opportunities but for a company like synthite uh, or plantlet to have 
ancillary unit supporting us would be very difficult because our customers expect us to process most of it ourselves. They want to audit the entire value chain, be satisfied that we are doing, uh, we are, uh, what we are telling them we are doing. So other uh, kind only we have to have our own, have our own capability. Yeah. Uh, to have institutions that are support function like in car manufacturing and all that you have a lot of ancillary opportunities but that doesn't exist in our line of business so um, i don't know what are the what the, what are the possibilities um, i don't have enough understanding to say that okay these these businesses would be successful in the future but anything which is service oriented of and high value if it's manufacturing, it has to be high value. Service industry, there are definitely opportunities, I think, a number of opportunities. Sir, we have success stories, we have a routine, we have a routine. No, because if you are in any way, you are in any way, you are in any way, you are in any way. No. We have a vision, we have a routine, we have a stick on, we have a stick on. So, sir, a success story, routine, you have a share, you have a share. I mean, or since or I stayed with my parents um, or my dad who was very strict about routine, there were certain things that I, I had um, imbibed in and used to follow. You know, I used to not be terribly late at meetings or, you know, looking at reviewing projects. Everything was uh, well, uh, was with a certain amount of regret. Or thumb, or on a lighter note, if I can tell you, maybe three years back, um, no, not three years back now, maybe you know, before my dad passed away, about two years before that. So I was 30 plus years in the business. I was working out of my home that particular day. It so happened to be 8.45. He was not coming to office on a regular basis, but he was sitting outside. He looked at his watch and looked at me, messaging, why are you late, you know? So I had to, I mean, I got so irritated. I told him I'm 30 years in business. You know, why, why do you insist on me being at 8.30 in the office? So another situation, other, you know, lighter note, but on a general term, I had, um, um, always uh, worked on a schedule while even at school itself because that became a habit because I was in a boarding school. So you had to uh, manage your own things, keep your desk right, your bed. I mean, I, I mean, first thing I do is make up my make my bed as I get up. That's something that I have because I pin me around the theory once lucky that is, you know, for as you get up, you are accomplishing a task. If you make yes. your bed, you are accomplishing yeah. a task. The second thing is when you come back in the evening, you have a clean made bed, so which is also satisfying to go back to sleep to. And so that is something that even today I regularly follow. Maybe two, I think it was 2015-16 that I read uh, Robin Sharma's 5M Club, which really influenced me quite a bit and I took a, a decision maybe a, a month after I read the book that I will get, in, get into the schedule and I started doing that. I started getting about 4.50 in the morning. Uh, at 5 o'clock, I'm in the pool. I swim for about 15 minutes, bath, after which I used to do meditation, then read for 20 minutes. So that between 5 and 6 was absolutely my time. I, I didn't take any phone calls or I didn't look at my phone. I didn't want anybody to disturb. And once I practiced this for about 3-4 months, it became a school. Wherever I went, I would do it. Maybe occasionally I used to sleep, I mean, oversleep on a Saturday. But this schedule changed a bit when I started to to ride in the morning. I started horse riding in the morning. Then I I couldn't go riding before 6.30. So I moved it to 5.15, 5.30 I start the, I do a bit of exercise, reading. And then I go and ride for about 45 minutes, come back, breakfast. And between uh, me and my wife, we spend about 15, 20 minutes uh, for prayer in the morning. And 8.30 normally, between 8.30 and 8.35 I'm in the office. Or I'm, if I'm going to the factory, I'm in the factory. That's what I used to ും <laughs> 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 We might talk about a hierarchy and things like that, but if you are the one who have initiated that particular project or something that's new, then having a direct, having a regular review of the progress is very important. Because what happens is how much ever you've explained the project to someone or a team that we explained to, 
അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ഔട്ട്കം നമ്മൾ എന്താ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നോ ആ ലെവലിലേക്ക് ആ ടീമിനെ ഒരിക്കലും മനസ്സിലാക്കിയാൽ നമുക്ക് സാധിക്കത്തില്ല ബിക്കോസ് ദർ എഗെയിൻ ആസ് എ ടോൾ യു അർലിയർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഒരു ടെക്നിക്കൽ പേഴ്സൺ സംഡി യൂസ് കമേഴ്ഷ്യൽ സംഡി ഹെൽസ് ഹൂസ് കമ്മിങ് വിത്ത് സെർട്ടൺ അതർ സ്കിൽസ് ഇവരെല്ലാം കൂടെ കൂട്ടിയിട്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ പ്രോജക്റ്റ് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അവരെല്ലാവരും ഒരു സെർട്ടൺ എമൗണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ എത്ര ചാർട്ടർ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയാലും എത്ര ആ ഒരു കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ എഴുതി വെച്ചാലും ദി ഓണർഷിപ്പ് ലൈസ് വിത്ത് യു സോ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റീസിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ബെസ്റ്റ് ദറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് യു റെഗുലർലി ഇൻട്രാക്ട് വിത്ത് ദ ടീം അപ്പോൾ അത് ഞാൻ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സ്കൂളിൽ ഐ എസ് ബിയിൽ പഠിച്ച സമയത്ത് ഒരു കേസ് സ്റ്റഡി ആയിരുന്നു നാനോ കാറിൻ്റെ കാര്യം അത് നാനോ കാർ ആസ് കാർ ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് സക്സീഡ് ബട്ട് വാട്ട് ദൻ ടാറ്റ്ന ബിക്കേംസ് ഐ മീൻ വെരി യു നോ വാട്ട് ഈ ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് വേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടാറ്റ ഹിംസെൽഫ് ദൻ ടാറ്റ ഹിംസെൽഫ് യൂസ് ടു റിവ്യൂ ദാറ്റ് പ്രോജക്റ്റ് ഓൺ എ റെഗുലർ ബേസിസ് വെൻ ദ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് വാസ് മെയ്ഡ് which is what made that see because they had a target it is a 1 lakh rupee car which had to i mean for a car to function it has to have those basic components so they had to re-engineer a lot of things but the team became so motivated to make that the product was not successful but in terms of an hr initiative that was a great success because how that entire drove that project and so like apo adu pole adu a scale allengilum nammal cherudayittu cheyina karyangal aanengilum ipo to give a very recent example we were working on a ഞങ്ങൾ റീസെൻറ്റായിട്ട് ഒരു പുതിയ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ഒരു ട്വൽവ് ക്രോസിൻ്റെ പുതിയ പ്ലാന്റിന് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുകയാണ് എക്സ്പെക്റ്റിംഗ് എ സെർട്ടൺ ഔട്ട്കം ബട്ട് ഇൻ ദ മെയിൻ ടൈം ദസ് ദസ് എ പോസിബിലിറ്റി ഒരു ടെക്നോളജി ഡിസ്ട്രപ്ഷൻ്റെ പോസിബിലിറ്റി സിന്തായിട്ട് തന്നെ ഉണ്ടായ ഒരു വേറൊരു പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റിനെ ബേസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഒരു സെരണ്ട് പെറ്റി എന്ന് തന്നെ പറയാം ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ടു ഇമ്പ്രൂവ് ഓൺ ദ പ്രോസസ് ദറ്റ് വി ഓർ പ്ലാനിങ് സോ ഐ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദിസ് ദിസ് ടീം and the opportunity maybe i'm ഞങ്ങള് ഇപ്പോ ചെയ്ത 12 ക്രോസ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്ത പ്ലാൻ വിൽ ബിക്കം റിഡണ്ടന്റ് ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ ഐ വാസ് വില്ലിംഗ് ടു ടേക്ക് ദാറ്റ് പ്ലാൻ ബിക്കോസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ബെറ്റർ ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി അപ്പോൾ ഇത് ടീമിനോട് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്തെങ്കിലും ഇറ്റ് ടുക്ക് വൺ വീക്ക് ടു വീക്സ് ത്രീ വീക്സ് ടു ഡേയ്സ് ബാക്ക് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രൈഡേ വെൻ ഐ വെൻ ആൻഡ് സ്പോക്ക് ടു ദ ടീം ഐ കൻ ഐ സെറ്റ് സിന്തായിട്ടിൻ്റെ എന്താ യു എസ് പി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കൾച്ചർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ലൈക്ക് ഐ എസ് എ സെറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ബിഗിനിങ് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് ബീങ് എ ജായിൽ ആൻഡ് പെസിവിയറൻസ് so we are missing out that you know if we we are agile about it we would have come up with the project long ago in the morning before i came here they come up with the project product which is what we were expecting to de- deliver oh my god which will which will actually make that 12 crore investment redundant but then this is a completely new different i mean way, way, different way of doing this product which will eventually be more successful for synthite about anything new you have to be that rigor in following up is very very important you have the best minds together working and the parana it's very difficult to make the best people to work together so namla adin athrenum competence illenga polum you have the passion you it's because it's your project adu on a regular basis will review chain us some discipline that's required for something to be successful other i don't think you can delegate that to anybody else you have to do it yourself you have to have find the time to do it yourself ini namla last question like etirikana സാറിനെ പോലെയുള്ള ആളുകളെ കാണുമ്പോൾ ഞാൻ ആദ്യം ചോദിച്ചതുപോലെ സക്സസ് സ്റ്റോറി പറയാമോ എന്ന് ചോദിക്കുന്ന പോലെ തന്നെയാണ് ഒരു നല്ല മെസ്സേജ് ഇപ്പോൾ വളർന്നു കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന വളരാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്ന യങ്സ്റ്റേഴ്സിന് ബിസിനസ് ചെയ്യുന്നവർക്ക് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പുതിയൊരു ഐഡിയ മനസ്സിലുണ്ട് അതൊന്ന് എങ്ങനെ സക്സസ്ഫുൾ ആക്കണം ഏ എങ്ങനെ അതിനെ വർക്ക് ഔട്ട് ആക്കണം എന്നൊക്കെ ചിന്തിക്കുന്നവർക്ക് കൊടുക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ഒരു സക്സസ്ഫുൾ മെസ്സേജ് എന്തായിരിക്കും ഞാൻ ആദ്യമേ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ ആ ഒരു പ്രൂഫിങ് ഓഫ് ദറ്റ് ഐഡിയ ഇസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വൺസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് യുവർ എല്ലാം ശരിയായിട്ട് ഒരിക്കലും ഒരു കാര്യം ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റത്തില്ല ബട്ട് വൺസ് എ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ദർ നോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് അബൌട്ട് യു ഡിസൈഡ് ഗോ ഫ്രം ഹിയർ ടു ദർ യു വിൽ ഫൈൻഡ് ദ വേ ടു ഗെറ്റ് ദർ ആസ് യു ഗോ അലോങ് അപ്പോൾ ഇതെല്ലാം റൂട്ട് മാപ്പ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അവിടെ എത്താന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ചിലപ്പോൾ നടക്കുന്ന കാര്യമില്ല ഫോർ സ്പെഷ്യലി ഫോർ സംതിങ് ന്യൂ because there are will be so many hurdles that will come up you will have to overcome those hurdles to get there but once you have decided then you should put your heart and soul behind it there's no way of being lethargic about it and hoping that things will happen you will have to things make things happen our commitment illengil or entrepreneur avan samikirudu karanam
and at a younger stage when they are as students or you know as uh, when they're learning in school or in colleges it's about discipline yeah that that's very very important you know like whether it's question of you having the family to support you or not you it is your career the time that you spend for your education is very very important and being uh, you know being normal is also important you know you don't have to be weird to be seen by others mm-hmm. you can be uh, completely unnoticed doing a work being successful in what you're doing that is educating yourself and then pursuing your career so you don't have to be try to be in the limelight being an outlier you can always be um, you know among the crowd doing what you need to do and be successful so very important point right. sir right. because these days no namalke namal ellavarum korchu noticeable aganayita normal avan act cheyan ready aayittullavaranu adinte adu avashyamilla nanu naan vishwasikkunnu and again you can always be a number 2 in, in many places because if you look at me personally also um i've had you know people about me all the time which again was again something which uh, didn't affect me because again another robin sharma book which talks about lead without title which is very very important because you don't necessarily have to have a title to do things you can you can um, like the first uh, you know chapter on that is about or housekeeping maid in the question anathu parayunnathu or hotel le how she committed she is to making a difference to the hotel's housekeeping department she, it's not because of her title she can she feels takes pride in what she is doing and uh, in that work that she is doing and she's successful and she uh, she owns it yeah it's, it's she she is not doing it because somebody is looking over her shoulder apo adu pole thane Uh, and she with the amount of uh, the explain um, how she explains what she is doing she let, you might feel that she is the owner of the hotel or she is the, the manager there so you don't have to have the title to lead things or take initiative so make a change is something which is also important because you, everybody can't be on the top right you can't yeah. you, institution can only have a leader yeah the others work alongside but you you don't have to say mm-hmm. that because you're not the leader or you because you're not on the top you will not do certain things or it's not my responsibility anyone can make a difference and that should be the commitment that you know people should have then only people will start noticing also like today in in the hr terms like nokunna is how much they work they're doing outside of what they're asked to do is when you start noticing people right so that is another aspect that the youth should uh, should emulate is what i feel all right abum thank you sir korchu samayam namukku vendi spend cheyidana and oru vaadu karyangal ee korchu samayam kondu sir nammalayite share cheyidu thank you so very much and synthetic inde ella varuna valarchagalum ella varuna varshangalum gambhiramagate nashamsikkana thank you sir thank you so much thank you